One of the Wisconsin 14 has left the Senate Democratic Caucus. We'll tell you what Tim Cullen's decision means for business at the Capitol. It is drama under the dome. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. First tonight at 10, continuing coverage of Tim Cullen's decision to leave his caucus and now possibly his party. The night team's Theo Keith with more on today's announcement. Theo. Well, Eric Cullen felt like the new Democratic leadership stiffed him. He wanted committee chairmanships that he didn't get. So instead, he got nothing. Democrats have barely assumed the majority, and now there's a shakeup in the Senate. I'm no longer part of the Senate Democratic Caucus. Um, I'm no longer obviously a valued member of that caucus. Senator Tim Cullen says that much is clear. Now the moderate Democrat is leaning toward leaving the party. If I become an independent, I will stay an independent. Cullen calls his committee assignment from Senate leadership minimal and unacceptable. So now he's the only Senate Democrat without a single leadership position. And it's so blatantly aimed at me, so blatantly intended to send me a message that I'm not welcome. Despite Senator Cullen's frustrations, the man who leads the Senate Democrats, Mark Miller, was in meetings all day today and would only issue a written statement. Miller wrote that he was disappointed in Cullen's decision, saying he did offer the Janesville senator an important chairmanship, but that he turned it down. The rift came as a surprise to the Senate's new minority leader, Scott Fitzgerald. What I would say is I think Senator Miller has continued to kind of march uh, his caucus to the beat of uh, that very left-wing drum, and uh, I don't know that all the senators kind of fit that mold. Now Fitzgerald says he wants to talk with Cullen, one former majority leader, to another. Cullen, who served in the Senate in the 70s and 80s, says he fell out of favor during the collective bargaining bill protests. He says he wanted the Democrats to leave Wisconsin to send a message, but didn't want to stay in Illinois for so long. Now he says the days of a united Wisconsin 14 are gone. These are a whole new series of events you know, and that's, a, that's now a time in the past. And regardless of Cullen's decision, Democrats will still be in control because Republican Rich Zipperer is leaving next month to become an aide to Governor Walker, but no legislative action is scheduled before the November elections. Cullen, by the way, still has two years left in his term and says he plans to run again in 2014. Now, Theo Cullen, of course, uh, he's from Janesville. What does he think this decision means to his uh, voters, his constituents? Well, despite the fact that he's got no leadership assignments for now, that could, of course, change with the outcome of these November elections. And he says he wouldn't be making this decision if it were bad for Janesville, Eric. Anyway, story to keep an eye on. Theo, mm -hmm. thank you.